Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Friday the 19th. Yeah, sorry about that. The 19th day of December. I want to explain to you very clearly what we have to do for candle lighting for um, Hanukkah for Friday afternoon. Here's the thing. A lot of shuls do the lighting of the Hanukkah candles. Let's do the shul lighting first. They do them in between Mincha and Marav. And that's fine. That's a lovely time to do it. A lot of Pir Suminisa broadcasting the miracle. A lot of people get to see it and all that. But here's the issue. Some shuls start their mincha uh, close to Shabbos. And when they start their mincha close to Shabbos, by the time mincha ends, it's so close to Shabbos that it's like seconds or small minutes until you're not allowed to light a candle anymore. So if that kind of show was going to dive mincha a little late, and then with one minute to go till sundown try to light Hanukkah candles, that's not safe. You would never, ever, 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 ever want to light a Hanukkah candle on Shabbos. That's violating a Shabbos law to light a flame. So, what a lot of shuls will do, and I hope you can help see to it that that's what you will arrange for your areas, is that mincha is scheduled for earlier. So everybody gets mincha done, and then there's plenty of time to um, light the candles. If, for whatever reason, the shul is insistent on davening mincha late, right, right before Shabbos, then by all means, light the shul candles before mincha, because you can't play with... Uh, lighting lights, even if it's for Hanukkah, when it's too close to Shabbos. We don't want to ever violate Shabbos. Now for the home. Um, in your home, what you want to do is light your Hanukkah candles, of course, before you light the Shabbos candles. But I think I explained this to you once before, and let's go over it very clearly. Really, your Shabbos, sorry, really your Hanukkah candles are supposed to be lit from the time of, say, whoops, yeah, they're supposed to be lit from the time of Tesek Ochavim, that's nightfall. Baltimore area, that's about 5.30. It's from about 5.30 till about 6. That's the main time that they have to be lit. Of course, you can't light them on Friday night at 5.30 because that's too late. So the appropriate thing to do is to light them earlier before you light your Shabbos candles and accept Shabbos. So that means that you're going to have to light your Hanukkah candles at about 4.20, 4.25, nice and early on Friday afternoon, and make certain that they have enough oil or wick or candle or whatever that they're going to last all the way from 4.30, through to the 5.30 hour, and then another half hour to the 6 o'clock hour. In other words, they got to last an hour and a half. So you have to make certain that your candles or oil or whatever are well checked, such that they have the power to last from 4.30 to 6, approximately, depending on how it works in your city. But those are the kind of parameters everybody's going to have to do about an hour and a half. If you use those teeny, weeny, skinny colored candles, they're not going to make it. They only burn for about a half an hour, and that's not going to cut it. If you have to use candles and you don't have big ones, you are allowed to use Shabbos candles, those big white ones that last more than an hour and a half. Don't put them so close to each other so they won't melt each other down. And set up Shabbos candles if you have to. And if you're putting wicks in your oil, um, you might want to make sure that your wick is not so fat that night because if it's fat, it burns the oil more quickly. If it's skinny, it'll burn the oil more slowly. So you might want to watch for that too just to make certain that your candles are set up to last from around 4 30 till around 6 o'clock on this Friday, Erev Shabbos Hanukkah. Thanks for logging on and log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.